hindi ko magbugtaw ng example ng gabi ang mangod ko nang habuyan ko na ni Papa sa binisaak na bala ng kahoy. Kahoy na bang ginabisaak yung nagatong na bala sa palayo. I remember that at that time, my mom and my father are are fighting. They are arguing. So my mom said she will put us to DSWD. And then my mom was sent to prison. May ang gumag-eskwila kay Kaname. Eskwela, kag magtoon, kag magbasa sa mga libro. Hace 13 años, empecé la fundación que se llama Calipa y Negrense Foundation. Rescatamos y cuidamos a los niños que han sido violados, abusados, malnutridos, uh, abandonados, tráfico de órganos, eh, víctimas de cybersex. Tenemos una casa que se llama Haven y es allí donde tenemos a los más pequeños, a los bebés, hasta los niños que tienen cinco años. También tenemos allí a los niños que ya entran en la universidad. La otra casa es la casa más grande que tenemos que se llama Recover Treasures. Tenemos ya los niños a partir de cinco y lo más importante allí es que tenemos el colegio. Joey and I am 19 years old. I was here since I was two years old. Well, as soon as I was transferred over, I was surrendered by my parents in my life. Um, so I didn't change. So, um, you know, and I have to live with this. And from now on, I'm doing the best I can. And actually right now, I'm going to university, I'm pursuing what I want. It's actually anthropology. I have a lot of you know, a lot of kids to look after too, since, you know, I myself is is one of, are one of the older kids here, so, you know, looking after them is like training yourself to become, you know, better parent one day. Muchos de estos niños les tenemos que enseñar a vivir en una casa. Ni, ni saben lo que es un papel. Llegan a nuestras casas y lo hacen sus necesidades allí mismo en la sala, en el comedor, enseñarles a dormir en una cama. No lo entienden, ellos duermen en el suelo. Cuando llegan a casa, se van al jardín y lo primero que hacen es comer tierra. Comen tierra porque para ellos eso es la mejor comida que han tenido, porque son niños que solo vivían de la basura. Soy Micaela Caillas y soy 20 years old. I've been here in Sacalipay since 2006 and I was seven years old at that time. Um, I want to take social work because I also want to help children. I was inspired by some of the social workers here that work. That's why I, I want to try and help them like protecting their rights. Effects usually of trauma on children what really takes a hit is their self-esteem. There's a lot of guilt. Some of them actually would blame themselves, the kids who were abused. Some can be cognitively affected. The more extreme cases, they develop psychological disorders, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, or depression, anxiety, head trauma. They might be mentally delayed. A lot of them have a hard time trusting and getting attached. To, to others. Considering his background and his past, it's actually an amazing thing that he's still here. He has post-traumatic stress disorder and then also a mood disorder. We're still not completely sure if it's depression or bipolar. A lot of his behavior here really has to do with the trauma that he experienced. I meet with him every week just to help him cope and just process everything because everything he experienced was never processed. He never got to express it. As a child, he never really felt love, um, especially from his family. Sometimes sometimes Kagampin ako the most nga kaparamember sa ako na gimbalig ako ni Papa sa church. Ch 
justice system in the Philippines is really slow. And once the child, for example, to an abused child, is determined to, to file a case against the perpetrator, first step is to file a blotter written by the police officer. Here in the Philippines, we have a unit that is called um, Women and Children's Desk. We go for a medical legal. Because, um, as we all know, the, the case, it is very important that you will have a concrete evidence. Prosecuting them can make them realize that, you know, it's not good to abuse a child or, or anyone else. But the thing is, um, it still happens. Eh? It doesn't matter if they're rich or poor, because it happens. I believe it's more of the, the value system. We cannot uh, prevent a child from feeling isolated when they back to the community. Because how do we process it? very gradual. Outside world, it's very different. At one point, they may encounter individuals again who in one way or another may abuse them. The fear is always there. The trauma stays with them. What I help them with is how to deal with that trauma. Help them develop more appropriate coping skills. Come to terms with what happened to them and attain some level of Peace. Kung maglakat na sila sa gwa, kung mag-eskwila na sila, college sa gwa, gawarigig ko, basi mabiktima naman sila luwan. Basi hindi naman sila ka-adjust or hindi naman sila maka-adapt sa ang sitwasyon sa gwa. Estos barangays en realidad son pequeñas aldeas, sitios ocupados por gente muy muy pobre, que no son dueños de la tierra. Son la gente más pobre que no tienen dónde ir y se quedan allí. Son sitios muy difíciles, muy peligrosos. Nagbinulag lang kami pagkapatay ni tatay ko, ang nanay ko, as ng bana ko. Hindi na po kasarang magsagod sa ila, hindi ko kasarang magpasko ila. Kasi ang ang banila sa ako, may mabulig ko na sa ako, na muna abis sila. Pasko na hon, kakagtaw ka, wala ko kwarta, kada son ka kalipong sa nga daan, hindi ko mabiaan. Makatapos sila eskula, hindi man bala sila nga pareha sa ako. In some uh, cities, the sexual abuse is very higher. Taking drugs, the mind does for the some uh, taking liquor every day, every night. The house, there is no division, especially the uh, slum people. The mother afraid to report to the police because they will not uh, support the children, especially the mother is not working. The mother allowed because of their, there are some children, they feed. Desde que Calipa empezó, hemos dado de conocer a todo Filipinas que existe un problema muy grave en este país. Uno de los casos bonitos que tenemos, como este, por ejemplo, de Gino. I'm Gino Villabindan. I'm 27 years of age. I currently work in our claim design lab. It's an architectural firm. Es un niño que creció en Calipa. Vivía en Calipa y conoció a una de nuestras niñas. La llamamos Bubbles. Janabel Abindan. I am 22 years old. Currently working in Calipa. Es una de nuestras profesoras. Enseña a nuestros niños especiales. I started my journey in Calipa when I was 13 years old. Se casaron van a tener su primer bebé. I'm going to make my family happy because what I've experienced with my mother and father it's really make me feel sad. I don't want my family to be end up like my family love to tell our baby soon of our love story. 